Sheldon, is that a complete game? Is the one you played that was that third one against Syracuse as well? Is that one compare? Yeah, it was close, very close. Obviously, the first five minutes of the second period weren't very good for us. We were pretty casual there, but we got a, a huge goal to uh, sort of relieve that pressure a little bit, and then we got back to playing, and obviously it took the wind out of their sails a little bit too at the same time, and that was really what we were hoping to do here on the road was not give them much opportunity to be good, not much opportunity to build life and build energy and build the uh, energy of the crowd, all that stuff. So uh, full marks for our guys. That was a pretty great effort. How important was that first goal uh, coming so quickly? Yeah, huge. And, and again, I mean, you referenced the game that we had in Syracuse there. The game three in Syracuse is very similar. We score real early. Um, so it's uh, it, was a, it was a big moment for our team. And then I just really liked how we just stayed with it all period. We had two huge penalty kills that we didn't give up anything on. Um, so... It was, uh, it was a real great effort. It was fun to watch. Pretty easy to be satisfied with the Alton in line, uh, but how satisfied are you with uh, Marchman and Brooks and, and Moore as well? They were outstanding. Outstanding. I, I just thought their team just really had a hard time handling them anytime they were on the ice. Um, so that's a, just a good sign for our team. When we've got four lines, we just rolled one, two, three, four pretty well the entire night. When we got four lines like that, uh, and everybody's on the same page and playing with purpose. Um, doesn't give the other team much opportunity to get going. Is it underline how well your team bought into the forecheck that your first three goals all generated behind the net? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we feel like, you, you know, when we put when we have to put pucks in, we want to get on top of them quickly. And once we once we do, we've got good offensive people that uh, can make plays and get to the net and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, a lot of the things that we wanted to do well today, we really executed at a high level. And that's a credit to the guys for doing that. We've spoken about it before, but the, the, Euro, the Euro line, so to speak, Alton's line, they don't fear going, you know, treading where uh, angels dare to tread. They uh, stick their nose in and three very competitive people they're all three of those guys are fearless they got high skill level they're strong on the puck it's a very good line for us but as i said we, you know we've got four lines that are all all chipping in all everybody's doing their part we had um guys that really really efficient line changes today to stay fresh and, and just keep coming and keep coming um, that's playoff hockey you know, it's a real good effort by our club i think you a good look at it what happened on the major uh, to uh, lion what did he do to mark uh, it was a kick, uh, apparently. I haven't seen or anything like that. I don't think it was anything too malicious or anything or anything like that, but I haven't really seen it or anything. Uh, my other question is uh, Dermot and uh, Liljegren a couple of times over the past couple of games. He's had to cover for him, not to say that the Liljegren hasn't had a, a very good playoff, but are you conscious of that sometimes, that Dermot's got to bail him out now and then? Uh, I, I think we're, we're helping each other out. I think Lily's done just fine. I think we look at each of the pairs. They're, they're there supporting one another. They've got a team that uh, you know stretches the zone. They leave early, so they have a tendency to let you know get people in behind you. Um, and as, as a result, you really need to rely on your partner. Now, I don't think the Durham's Lily group is uh, unique in that regard. I thought everybody was supporting everyone, and you know, we're getting real good minutes from Lily in, in these playoffs, and that's been important for our team is to consistently be able to play six. Grunstrom brought uh, in terms of different looks, different options for you as a coach. Uh, when you can throw him out there like the way he is. Well, it, it's just really helped our our depth, obviously, and that was one thing that really we really took a hit on through the season. If you look at the people that we ha we had and then lost, um, you know that Sashnikov meant a lot to our team. Uh, Reichel meant a lot to our team. Kapanen meant a lot to our team, obviously. So when you lose guys like that and, and really no nobody came in to replace them, um, you have to you look within first. And I think that's where a guy like Adam Brooks really blossomed for us. And, and and Trevor Moore, just the same. Um, then, you know, you get Gretchen that comes on the scene, Pierre Engvall comes on the scene here, and those guys are clearly able to step in and just keep us moving and, and make us four lines deep. Uh, and that's really important for us. But, you know, Carl, uh, and, and uh, you know, you asked about Carl, and so I'll give you an answer on him. That he, He's a great young player, and he's, he's got lots of skill, and, and he's a good can finish around the net, strong on the puck. But Pierre Engvall has been a real nice surprise for us and in how he's come in. He's fit in very well with that Goche line, and they're no fun to play against. So th those two guys combined um, really have helped our team.